bike specific signal that would be used to give bicycles oftentimes a protected movement through an intersection. They might be given a separate phase so that they can get across the intersection. The whole idea of the manual on uniform traffic control devices is to make those devices uniform. So if you were a bicyclist in Portland, Oregon and you went to Manhattan, Kansas, the display and the, the design of it would be similar so that you would not need to learn a new traffic control device. What we discovered in the state of practice is that there was a lot of consistency, but then there were some variations. Is it yellow or black, the bike facing left or the bike facing right? Every time we saw a cyclist, then we had to record exactly at what time arrived, at what time was the green indication in relation to the cyclist, and if there was traffic or not, if there were other vehicles coming. So a lot of data to collect. In addition to collecting all the performance details about cyclists as they departed from the, the stop art intersections, we collected some descriptive demographic variables, get a sense of whether the cyclists were primarily commuters or whether they were on recreational activity. So one of the timing parameters would be, you know, what should be the minimum green time to service the queue of bicycles waiting. One of the signals we studied was on a very high use trail connection. It typically accommodated mostly recreational users. You would want to provide longer timings for them. many cities prior to the interim approval they would have needed to complete a request for experiment to the Federal Highway Administration through the MUTCD process.